Hello children this is your divya teacher we are going to learn our fourth lesson the fox's wedding this is a poem based on folk tale dear children a folk tale is a traditional or old stories that people of particular region or group repeat among themselves or tell among themselves these types of stories usually passed by parents to their children i'll give you an example children please observe this video you can see it is raining at the same time sun is shining it is believed that whenever it rains on a sunny day fox's wedding is taking place this poem is based on this belief so children have you understood what is folk tale yes our fourth lesson is based on a folk tale when the sun shines during the rain a fox gets married so our fourth lesson name is fox's wedding so can we go for the wedding let us learn about the poet fox's wedding is written by unforgettable personality Harindranath Chattopadhyay He was an actor and also a multi-talented person The Fox's Wedding The poem goes like this The cloud is dropping it is raining in the sun for the fox's wedding has just begun From forest and plain and mountain side guests bring gifts for the fox and the bride here comes the first a greening hyena who brings a charming bowl from china here comes the second a lion bold whose gift is a mirror of african gold here comes the third a crocodile whose gift is a silver cup from the nile here comes the fourth a long necked camel whose gift is a casket of indian enamel here comes the fifth a monkey who rides his gift is a book the arabian nights here comes the sixth a she wolf vain who brings for the bride a scarf from spain here comes the seventh a polar bear whose gift is a beautiful russian chair here comes the eighth to the fox's marriage a horse who has bought him a five wheeled carriage Here comes the ninth a jackal who brings the bride and the bridegroom two diamond rings Here comes the tenth if you please uninvited the guests at the wedding are getting excited he comes from somewhere and teaches zoology what is his gift an empty apology but why has he come to the fox's feast it is most ill mannered to say the least the fox then addressed the guests who were present let us be friendly let us be pleasant let us be civil and not make a fuss since man after all is a beast like us the guests of a sudden ceased to complain the clouds of a sudden forgot to rain the sun came out both gay and splendid the fox's wedding was happily ended